Now, as several districts of Assam continue to remain underwater, five more people have lost their lives in rain-related incident, taking the total number of death now to 102. In fact, 76 people have died because of the flood-related incidents. 26 others have died because of landslides that had taken place. In fact, 36 lakh people across 28 districts have been severely affected due to the floods. Meanwhile, several thousands have also been shifted to the relief camp. As far as River Brahmaputra is concerned, it continues to be flowing above the danger mark in several of the districts. Now, the weather department has warned of rain and thunder showers at several of the places in the state today. Let me go across to my colleague Arindam, who's joining me live, getting us further updates on the ground situation there. Arindam, help us understand about the ground situation. Tell us where you are and what are the big important challenges there? How are people being uh, looked at as far as the flood situation is concerned in the state? Yes, uh, I am right now uh, at a relief camp set up by the district administration uh, in Haju, in Kamrup district of Assam. And here around tw uh, 28 people belonging to uh, around 8 families are taking shelter. They have been taking shelter in this relief camp since uh, 12th of July. Uh, as you can see, the pathetic condition they are right now living here in this uh, relief camps. Uh, this is a government school which has been turned into a relief camp by the administration. Uh, these people had to flee their homes when flash floods cre uh, created havoc in their villages. Uh, they could flee only with their lives. Uh, they could not take out much of their belongings and right now taking shelter in, the, in this relief camp. Let me tell you, they are, they are uh, now forced to coexist along with their cattle and poultry. Uh, I have with me uh, some of the flood affected uh, victims and let me straight away ask them that how situations have been for them uh, during this plus acha aap bataiye to is bar bar kitna bhayanak tha aur kitna damage kiya hai ha is bar to bar matlab pichli bar se pichli bar bhi hua tha 12 july ko same same date tha but pichli bar se is bar bahut zyada bhayankar tha but kyunki is bar four jagah pe tut gaya tha jo bar tha tutne ke baad raat ko karib karib 12:30 baje tut gaya bar uske baad hum log sab yahan pe shift ho gaya kyunki ghar mein rehne ke वो इतना मतलब परिस्थिति ही नहीं था कि हम घर में रुक सके तो रात रात सामान सारा यहाँ पे शिफ्ट करना पड़ा सब हम लोग यहाँ पे शिफ्ट हो गया तो अभी ऐसा हो गया है कि मतलब बार बार मतलब ये दो बार टू इयर्स कंटिन्यू बार हो रहा है तो हम लोगों का इतना प्रॉब्लम हो गया है कि हम लोग मतलब बहुत टूट चुका है फाइनेंशियली कंडीशन हो या फिर फिजिकली हो हम लोग टूट चुका है क्योंकि पिछली बार भी जब टूटा था तो हमारा यहाँ पे जितना भी लोग है वो इतना मिडिल क्लास फैमिली से भी बिलोंग नहीं करता है वो लोग मतलब रोज कमाता है रोज खाता है ऐसा इंसान है सब लोग तो पिछली बार भी जब सब कुछ बिखर गया था इंसान का एक घर था घर सब बिखर गया था तो पिछली बार तो किसी तरह से हम लोग खुद खुद से ही फिर से वो खड़ा गया खड़ा करके इस बार फिर से वो ही सेम कंडीशन है तो इतना तो वो नहीं ना सरकार ने पिछली कोई रिलीफ मटेरियल रिलीफ मटेरियल मतलब कुछ हमारा यहाँ का ही लोकल जो है उन लोगों ने एक दो आदमी ने दिया है बट गवर्नमेंट ने कुछ भी अभी तक नहीं किया है गवर्नमेंट ने या कुछ भी प्रशासनिक विषय अभी तक यहाँ पे नहीं विजिट भी कुछ रिलीफ का बात तो सॉरी है कुछ विजिट भी नहीं किया है एक बार तो कैसा हाल है क्या कर रहा है कुछ एक बार विजिट भी नहीं किया उन लोगों ने so there you have heard from this uh, flood victim uh, raising a serious allegation that uh, nobody from the administration or the government have uh, come here to take uh, stock of their situation or give any relief material only a few uh, local leaders uh, provided them support by providing uh, rice and pulses and other such uh, essential commodities but as of now they have said that nobody from the administration or the government have come uh, here to take uh, stock of the situation and asked how are they staying in this uh, condition but as you have uh, seen that these people are forced to live in pathetic condition they are coexisting along with their cattle and poultry here uh, they, these people have lost everything because flash floods uh, created havoc in their villages and even when they go back to their villages uh, there will be a scene of destruction that will be waiting for them because their houses uh, are damaged their entire uh, agricultural lands are right now under siltation so it will be a very tough tough task for these people to uh, lead a normal life uh, once again
Absolutely, it's going to be a very uphill task for the people to pick up the pieces and resume their life at a time where several of the districts, including the Kamrup district, they're severely affected by the floods. But Arindam, also help us understand how is the government really looking at the situation? What kind of assistance is the government now providing to the people, especially in several of the districts which continues to remain inundated? Uh, well, you see, right now the, there is a marginal improvement in the overall flood scenario in Assam uh, because the weather conditions have improved. But uh, 25 districts are still reeling under flood waters, and uh, which has displaced th around 36 lakh people. Okay. And more than 50,000 people like these are taking shelter in various relief camps. So uh, the government is also facing a dual challenge this time. One is with the pandemic uh, COVID-19 and the other is the perennial uh, uh, flood, erosion and landslide issue which the state uh, uh, witnesses every year. So the government as well as the uh, con various concerned authorities are right now dealing with these two uh, conditions and uh, these people have raised a serious allegation that nobody from the government or uh, the administration have come here to take stock of the situation or provide relief materials to them. All right, Arindam, many thanks for joining us and giving us a ground update there and also bringing us the very important voices from on ground. In fact, the Kaziranga National Park, which is also one of the worst affected by the floods, continues to remain submerged. In fact, a rhino was seen straying out near National Highway 37 yesterday after it lost its way. In fact, following which a drive out was also uh, carried out to guide the rhino inside the National Park. As far as the Kaziranga National Park is concerned, as many as 96 animals have died because of the floods, 132 others have been rescued across the state.